It's the Kyle Hyman Show on Redeemer Radio. This is Kyle Hyman here with Andrew Serrani. We are going to play a game. A game that we're calling... Random Trivia About World Youth Day. My favorite. My favorite. <laughs> I have the board game at home. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I learned some interesting things this morning, so now you may learn some interesting things, too. I am ready to learn. Good. And have fun. Yeah. Let's go. I think you'll know some of these answers, too. So that's good. Okay, ready? No. Who founded World Youth Day? Saint Pope John Paul II. That is correct. You're 100% so far. Did you want to just stop? Yep. <laughs> Thanks for playing, everybody. <laughs> okay. Let's let's see how far you can get without okay. missing. Let's go. In what year did he officially establish oh boy. World Youth Day? This is kind of tricky. The timeline is a little bit weird with World Youth Day. But this is when he officially established it. Um, I would assume it's in the 80s. It was. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Generous ding. Uh, let's go with... 84 85 Ooh okay Yes it's tough enough. because there was a there was an event in 1984 that inspired World Youth Day what was it That's what I was thinking uh that event <laughs> Of that, course you were That event that was so memorable <laughs> Uh what was it It was I have a hint I'll give you a hint Like a meeting of families No but <laughs> it was something similar to Events that took place during the Year of Mercy. Events that took place during the Year of Mercy. Uh, canonization? No. So there was a Year of Redemption. And remember okay. during the Year of Mercy, they had all these jubilees for different groups? Kind of. Like there was a jubilee for priests and religious, and there was yeah. a jubilee for families, and there was a jubilee for youth. Okay. Okay. Well, in the year of redemption, in 1984, they had a jubilee for youth, and Pope John Paul II invited all the youth to come, huh. and he was so amazed that 300,000 people showed up. He looked out at the crowd, and he said, what a fantastic spectacle is presented on this stage by your gathering here today. Who claimed that today's youth has lost their sense of values? Is it really true that they cannot be counted on? Huh. And then he invited them back to Rome on Palm Sunday the following year, so in 1985, and then he was like, all right, this is something. This, we've got some steam going here. And so he officially announced International World Youth Day, as we know it now, on December 20th, 1985. Interesting. Yeah. So when and where is World Youth Day celebrated during the years there isn't an international location? In Rome? No. Oh. Interesting. It's in every diocese. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say, but I thought maybe there was something a little bit more official in Rome. No. And when is it? What day is oh. is World Youth Day every year? Whenever you so choose. <laughs> it's Palm Sunday. Oh. Huh. Yeah. So, now you know. I don't think we... We really built those up. No, we're day. really not paying close attention to that. We're, I think we're paying more attention to Palm Sunday. Yeah. It's dumb. Okay. <laughs> How many of the World Youth Day countries can you name that we've had since 1985? Okay. I was going to try to do it in some kind of logical order, but I might just kind of spray and pray. That's fine. Uh, so Panama. Panama is right. That's this year. Uh, Poland. Poland, that, that's right. That was 2016. Madrid. And also in 1991. Oh, okay. Well, since you said the country instead of the city. Uh, Madrid. Okay, Madrid, that's 2011. Rome. Rome is correct. That's 1986 and 2000. Sydney. Sydney is right. That's 2008. Toronto. That's 2002. Denver. Denver, that's right, 1993. Uh, Brazil. Brazil, yes, that's right, 2013. Man, you're getting these. Uh, you're missing. Was just, there a Philippines? There was. Right, Manila. 1995. You're missing just one, two, three, four. Only four that you're missing. Um, I, 
it. There was I'd another one. There was another one point. in South America, Argentina, in 1987. Huh. There was a second one in Spain, in Santiago de Compostela. Okay. There was one in Paris, France, in 1997. I wondered if there was a France. And then Cologne, Germany, in 2005. Oh yes. Yes. I do remember that one. What was the location with the highest attendance? I think it was Rome. It for was the not. Jubilee. Uh, no. Then the Philippines. It was Philippines. Yeah. Five million people. That's right. In Manila. How many of the eight patron saints of World Youth Day 2019 can you name? Okay. The only reason I know any of them <laughs> is because Sister Ignatia mentioned them whenever we did oh, Morning nice. Jolt with Sister Ignatia. Wake up. We've got uh, Saint Archbishop Romero. Yep, that's right. Uh, there's. She couldn't remember the name, and now I can't remember the name of the guy from For Greater Glory. The kid. Jose Del Rio. Yeah. Saint Jose Del Rio. Um. Another one from Mexico. Bishop was ordained on his feast day. St. Juan Diego. St. Juan Diego. Okay. That's right. This is the like ultimate duh patron of all world oh, days. Oh, St. Pope John Paul II. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, a couple more from from South America. Any, yeah. Any guesses? There's a blessed in there somewhere. Yes. Maria Romero Meneses. Mm. She's from Nicaragua, which is okay. Central America. Uh, Martin de Pors, who is oh. bo- was born in Peru, but his mom is from Panama, so yeah. that's cool. And St. Rose of Lima. And then St. John Bosco, who's the patron saint of young people. Sure, sure. Why is World Youth Day being held in January? It was when the Pope was available and the facility was free. Uh, they, they wanted the weather... to do it in the Southern Hemisphere summer for a change, yeah. even though Panama is in the Northern Hemisphere. Fun fact. How many people from our diocese are there? 75. 75. According what is, to the press release. What is the theme of this World Youth Day? Go make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Luke chapter 1, verse 38. I am the servant of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Oh, very nice. 